Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Asari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn something about uh, functions in C. So, already um, in the last lesson, we have uh, studied uh, what is a function and uh, what are the two main uh, types of functions. The first one is uh, library functions and the second one is uh, user-defined functions. The library functions, uh, which means, which have some predefined meaning and they are uh, stored under a specific header file. Uh, so in order to use the library function, you need to add that header file uh, to your program and you can use those functions, okay? So uh, in this lesson, we, are, we will concentrate on user-defined function. So let me launch the IDE. So here I have created a project under the name uh, function2, which has all the uh, basic stuff like header files and main. Uh, which contains a small uh, printf statement uh, which just prints the message in the output screen here, okay? So, to define a user-defined function, uh, there are uh, three uh, main uh, things, okay? So, the first one is uh, a function uh, definition, okay? So, the function definition uh, goes something like this. That means that if you want to define a function, uh, you need to have some uh, definition okay you need to write uh, uh, as we know that the function uh, the definition of a function uh, literally means a self-contained block of code okay so we need to define that block of code uh, in the form of a definition okay so if you want to uh, uh, write a function definition which goes something like this so let us uh, type the definition okay So here we have uh, just written a small piece of code uh, which is called as function definition, okay. So the function definition uh, goes like this, uh, name of the function followed by the empty parenthesis. Uh, here we have uh, empty parenthesis because it contains uh, uh, no arguments, okay. So we will discuss about uh, the arguments in the next lesson. So this is a, a function definition uh, which serve purpose in life is just to print a uh, message, okay. So just for understanding purpose. We have just kept one single uh, print of statement uh, inside a function definition. Okay, so if you write a function definition, uh, nothing ha nothing much happens. Okay, so if you run the program, so nothing excited happens here. Uh, just uh, we got the output from the uh, print of statement, which is in the main here. Okay, so in order to execute uh, this piece of code, uh, you need to call uh, that function. Okay. So the calling goes like this, okay. So this is the second thing, uh, second main thing when you are studying, studying about uh, user-defined functions, okay. The first one is, first one is this function definition. So you know, you, you have defined a self-contained block of statements here, which is known as function uh, definition, okay. So in order to invoke uh, this function, you need to call the function, okay. So the calling part uh, goes like this. The function uh, name, okay, followed by parenthesis and semicolon, okay. So this is uh, known as function calling, okay. So even though you call a function here, nothing again uh, excited happens because there is a small uh, uh, one more thing we need to do. So now if you run the program, it just failed to execute because uh, we need not. Uh, uh, we didn't uh, add the prototype uh, to this function okay so again the prototype means we have to tell the f uh, compiler that we are going to use a function of uh, name message and uh, of written type void okay so uh, the prototype goes like this void uh, message okay just you add the name of the function, uh, the just title or name of the function, the entire thing above the main, and just if you keep, uh, if you place a semicolon, uh, that turns into a function prototype. Okay. But simply uh, by adding this statement, uh, the compiler uh, understands uh, that uh, the user or the programmer using is using a function 
uh, called message and uh, this void uh, specifies that it has nothing to return and it contains no arguments okay so this uh, is a requirement when you are uh, defining functions okay so below the main so okay so now if you run the program now you get the expected output okay so which is uh, the printer statement uh, inside the message uh, gets printed in the output screen okay so whenever uh, you are calling uh, a function this invokes this definition okay the whole uh, body uh, of the function starts executing when you are uh, calling that okay when you are calling that function uh, the calling goes like this as we have uh, seen so in the same way you can uh, uh, skip this prototype okay you can skip the prototype so I'm commenting, commenting it out. Okay. So the only way you can skip the prototype uh, is when, or else let us just delete the whole thing. So if you write uh, the whole definition uh, above the function uh, main here, okay. So if you do something like this, uh, in this case uh, you need not need any uh, prototype. Okay. So the function no, the compiler understands that uh, there is a function. Uh, since you are defining the function above the main, we need not explicitly tell to the compiler uh, by the use of prototype. So now the program runs happily, and uh, as the function, uh, we get the expected output. Okay, whenever the function is called, it just displays the message displayed inside the function. Okay, so let us move back to the original way, original order. Okay, let's keep our uh, definition below the main and uh, have the prototype here. Okay. So now if you run the save and run the program, you just get the same output here, okay. So in the same way you can have uh, any number of definitions as uh, uh, required, uh, according to the requirement, okay. So again you can have another definition here, void message 2, and it too can have a simple uh, uh, printf statement, hello from, uh, let us say message Okay, so hello from function. Let's say function message two. Since we are saying uh, not to all these things. Okay, so now uh, again, in order to invoke uh, this function, again you have to call the uh, message message two function here. So that's why I'm uh, the calling the function message two. Okay, so in the same way, uh, you are expected to add the prototype. Okay. So, since you are defining the function uh, uh, below the main, so again the compiler expects a prototype uh, definition. Okay, so prototype is nothing but just given title, the entire uh, title of the function, including written types, arguments, and everything, and just semicolon. If you put above the main, it just becomes our uh, prototype. Okay. So now if you save and run the program, we just get the output from the message 2, since we are called uh, message 2 here, so we get the output uh, that gets called, okay, the definition gets called uh, and it executes the definition and again the control uh, returns back uh, to the main program, okay. So in the same way you need not uh, follow any particular pattern when you are uh, uh, designing your functions, okay. So you can write uh, another function above the uh, above the other function okay so wherever you want it so here you can uh, write another message function a simple message function so I'm just keeping it uh, very simple since we are uh, learning the basics of uh, function uh, user defined functions here okay so again we are having a, another definition of uh, which we have called as message 3 and you can have a function small print statement here it just says nothing but uh, hello um, function message 3 okay. so again in order to call the function here again uh, in order to execute that uh, block of statements again you need to call uh, the function okay so just I'm saying uh, message 3 here uh, call the message and also we have to add the prototype at the above the main okay so void 
message three. Okay. So now we can uh, save and run the program. We just get uh, another message. Okay. So in the same way, uh, you can have uh, any number of uh, functions uh, in your uh, program. Okay. So you can have any number of uh, functions defined and you can call according to your uh, requirement. Okay. The functions are uh, uh, executed uh, not in the way they are defined. Okay. They are executed in the way they are called. Okay. So even though you have uh, uh, defined the message two at the last, uh, so you can make it uh, execute first by just uh, the calling the message to function. Okay. At the beginning. Okay. So followed by uh, according to your according to the requirement of the programmer, uh, he can call uh, the functions the way the order in which he wants. Okay. So now uh, I have just changed the order the way we are calling the functions here. If you save and run the program, so now the first uh, the message to uh, displays here. Okay. Since we are calling the message to function first. Okay. So in the same way. Um, uh, you need not uh, depend upon the uh, main function entirely to call your uh, uh, function definitions or uh, functions okay so you can call uh, a function uh, in other in other function okay so even though you don't have any right to define a function in another function you are having all rights to call a function in other function so so let us say you can call a, a function message uh, three in message okay so you can uh, uh, call like this here so just calling is nothing but just keeping the name of the function message three or the parenthesis and the semicolon so he, here i have called uh, the function message three inside the message function okay so now if you see the output so whenever it executes this uh, message function it not only just prints the uh, function from the uh, message uh, definition here and also uh, not only the definition of uh, message and also it executes the message 3 so immediately after uh, uh, executing this uh, printer statement uh, it encounters the uh, function call of message 3 so the control immediately jumps to this uh, block of code and executes uh, you know, this set of uh, this printer statement and just displays uh, the message 3 and followed by the uh, usual message 3 so and the control returns back to the, the main here okay and uh, followed by again we have a message 3 call so that's the reason you are getting a twice here okay so in the same way you can call uh, your function definitions in any uh, you can call your function in other function or in main uh, according to the uh, requirement of the program okay so uh, to summarize uh, uh, what we have done here uh, so we have uh, taken three different functions uh, message one message uh, message message two and uh, message three so all the definitions uh, goes like this okay so uh, we have uh, executed these uh, uh, functions using uh, calling okay so the main is called uh, the calling area uh, primarily so we have all the uh, calling section here so in order to invoke this function or uh, uh, make this function uh, execute this function you need to call the function so um, and also we need uh, very essential to add the prototypes okay the prototype is nothing but just the given title of the entire function followed by the semicolon which tells the compiler uh, uh, that uh, the user or programmer uses a specific function with so and so written type and with this kind of arguments okay so which is a very essential thing uh, to add the prototype here so that's all to summarize uh, uh, in this uh, lesson okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye